You wanna keep your cat healthy and prevent them from getting sick. This is a super tasty, balanced cat food recipe that's easy to make. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. A few key points about cats before we get going with this recipe. Number one, your cat is an obligate carnivore, meaning he needs animal protein to survive. So we're focusing on the proteins with balanced amino acid profiles that are best suited for our cats. This would include the poultry, chicken, turkey, duck. Number two, no carbohydrates. Carbs are not necessary, and in fact, they're harming many of our cats. Look at my cat, Murray. He was a diabetic because of the carbohydrates found in dry cat kibble. Number three, we don't need to be adding in any veggies. Cats would never eat veggies in the wild. Number four, the cat food needs to include additional calcium. We're not feeding bones, so we're gonna be grinding up eggshells, providing the calcium. Then number five, the key amino acid that every cat needs in their diet is taurine. I mean, cat foods that are deficient in taurine, we're seeing cats that have heart disease, we're seeing that cats that have eye disease, like they need additional taurine, and that's gonna be in the diet. We're adding an additional fat in the form of sunflower oil. It's got a balanced omega-3, omega-6 fatty acid profile. Really important to have in our cat's diet. Number seven, we're adding in an additional essential fatty acid in the form of krill oil. Then one of the last things that we're adding in is a little bit of additional ground flax. Many of our guys, you know, they're not consuming extra roughage as a cat outside would chewing on some grass. So I wanna make sure that your cat's gonna have normal bowel movements. We're gonna do that with the ground flax. Number one, ground turkey. This is one pound. To our frying pan, we're starting out with the fat, one tablespoon of the sunflower oil. To that, we're gonna be adding in our one pound of ground turkey. As you can see, I'm the speediest cook in the West, and now we have our cooked ground turkey. Next, we're adding one of these guys, eggs. The eggs, which happen to come from the chickens behind you, first of all, they're a great way to, get, to increase the protein percent. I mean, egg white is an ideal protein. Next, they're rich in many of the vitamins. They're rich in many of the B vitamins. They're a great source of vitamin D, a great source of vitamin E, and really rich in selenium, a super important antioxidant. We're gonna add in one egg to our cooked ground turkey. Egg and ground turkey. Sounds like food that we might even eat tonight. Oh, Murray, we're gonna compete. Who's gonna eat what? Allow your ground turkey egg mixture to cool. Then we're gonna be adding in all the rest of the nutrients. Ground turkey egg mixture going into our fancy pants bowl. Next, a nutrient that needs to be in every balanced homemade cat food recipe, it's calcium. I washed out that eggshell. I threw it into a little pan, roasted it in the oven for about 15 minutes. We're gonna add our eggshell to our coffee grinder. You can see here the fine white powder the ground eggshell produces. There's our thousand milligrams of calcium. It measures out exactly one teaspoon. That's about a thousand milligrams of calcium. And the amount of calcium that we wanna add to the one pound of the cooked ground turkey. And there's our calcium, yum. The thing with eggshell, it's thought that it's actually the best form of absorbable calcium. So not only is it free, you're using this egg in your recipe, your cat can better absorb it. It's also rich in magnesium, like another super important mineral. This amino acid taurine needs to be in every homemade cat food. Standard amount of taurine is about a thousand milligrams per pound of meat. We've got our pound of ground turkey. We're adding in two 500 milligram capsules. I'm gonna break them open so we can dump in the powder Mix that in, make it a lot easier to ensure our cat Murray gets his adequate. Next, the omega-3 fatty acid in the form of krill oil. Krill's got a great EPA, DHA profile. Those are the anti-inflammatory omega-3 fatty acids. It's rich in the antioxidant, astaxanthin. Krill is also a great source of vitamin D. The omega-3 fatty acids are considered one of the most important nutraceuticals in veterinary medicine because they can help an array of so many of the conditions our cats get. You now think of kidney disease, liver disease, heart disease, arthritis, cancer. The omega-3 fatty acids, they can be beneficial for those. 
We're gonna be adding in a thousand milligrams of acryl oil. It's acryl Murray. Mm. Next additional fiber, probably the best fiber source I know is this ground flaxseed. I'm adding in one teaspoon for a pound of meat. I always encourage you also to add in a complete multivitamin mineral supplement to kind of give your cat that little extra boost to kind of complement some of the vitamins and minerals that may not be in that diet. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased, you know, Dr. Jones's ultimate feline health formula. Ultimate feline, it also helps support your cat's muscle and joints in the forms of glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM as immune system support in the form of colostrum, aloe, can help support your cat's overall gut health in terms of additional prebiotics, probiotics. Also a key amino acid formula. Aside from all those yummy additional things, what I really like about it, it also makes the food taste better. Hmm, your cat's gonna wanna eat this stuff. I'm adding in two scoops of the ultimate feline to our one pound of animal protein. And how much of this do you feed, you might be wondering? Well, the average cat, if you're looking at sort of the animal protein, so an average 10 pound cat would eat about 130 grams a day of animal protein. Ideally, you can weigh that out and divide that into two equal meals, two or three anyway. But another easy way to do that is get yourself an average pan of 10 cat food. Here's mine, here's my measuring amount. When this one is well packed, it gives me about 130 grams. Let's pack in sort of one average can of cat food. Let's see what that comes out to. Okay. I pre-weighed the can, it weighs about 10 grams. So we're gonna subtract about 10 grams from the can. The can of food added, we come to a measurement of 150 minus 10, that's about 140 grams. So this should be about enough to give you three days worth of meals. This is your big moment. We want to know if you're going to eat this food. So you got the big fancy bowl here. Been really good for the video. There goes your food. Will Murray eat it? Murray appears to like the taste, although he doesn't necessarily want to eat from the bowl. There it is, Murray. Your yummy balanced cat food recipe. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of how to make a balanced, tasty, nutritious cat food recipe at home. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.